Good evening. Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Ryan, your host of the Independent uh, Doctors of Pahrump. Um, and uh, you'll know that this is a uh, live call-in show because we will basically put the um, phone number on there. Otherwise, you will see that this is a rerun not to call in, but this is um, a live show. So we hope that, uh, again, we can get your calls uh, during the show. Uh, last show was a very, very, um, I think, lively show. We had a lot of good calls, a lot of good questions and um, hopefully uh, we'll get some more tonight. Um, and, you know, we were talking about, uh, we kind of left the show talking about going into uh, pharmacies and making them making you feel like a, a criminal uh, when you go in there to get your uh, prescriptions refilled. And uh, I had another uh, great uh, conversation with uh, Walgreens Pharmacy here locally in town. Um, who a patient couldn't get their prescription filled at one of the other prescriptions, uh, one of the other pharmacies. So went to Walgreens for the first time. They apparently would have filled the prescription, but I got a call from the pharmacist who wanted to know uh, if they had any of the medication uh, or any uh, tests on file. Anyway, we're going to, I'll pick that story back up uh, right now. Ray's on the phone. Ray? What, am I interrupting a story, Doc? How could that be? Well, it's okay. You're worth the interruption. How are you doing? I'm doing just fine. Thank you very much. I'm feeling a lot better. I was pretty sick for a couple of weeks, but yeah. I'm on the road to recovery. Thanks Good. to you. I appreciate it, man. Sure. Hey, uh, I saw on TV something, and I don't know if it's true or not. They say there's an increase in heart attacks because of the time change. That when the time changes, somehow it puts stress on people. And they mentioned a figure like 25% increase for this one-hour change. And I'm experiencing a, a weird feeling because of this one hour also. My whole schedule seems off. I go to court every day, and and uh, and I do certain things at a certain time, and now it just seems peculiar. Is there any veracity to that? That actually, that people may have heart attacks because they lose an hour sleep or something to that effect. And I'll have another question later in the show. But if you can answer this yeah. one, I'd appreciate it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's. Thank uh, you. You know, I I don't know that study per se off the top of my head, but um, I will say that. Um, uh, it just depends how close you are to having that event anyway, meaning that uh, it, just a one-hour change is not really, because uh, people can have their schedule interrupted for an hour and at any time and, and then not have an, uh, uh, you know, a heart attack as a result of that. Uh, but yes, it does produce some stress on people. Uh, one of the things that I know it's true is that uh, we get a circadian rhythm spike in our blood pressure uh, every morning between uh, 5 or you know 3 to 5 a.m. depending on what when you go to sleep and what you do and that uh, circadian rhythm uh, blood pressure spike um, certainly has been the cause of quite a few MIs early in the morning uh, because your your blood pressure goes up pretty substantially and I've talked about it before that that head of pressure, meaning that sudden increase in, in uh, blood pressure, uh, creates a shear force, uh, a tearing sensation in the uh, uh, vessel wall. So if it, it creates enough um, and you had some plaque that was built up in your arteries, indeed you would, uh, could see that, that plaque rupture and then you know a clotting uh, cascade start and the next thing you know you, you have uh, uh, a blockage in the myocardial infarction. Um, and that just brings up why lipid rich plaques are, you know, are, are more dangerous than the ones that actually have been there for a long time. Uh, and, and that's part of the reason we take cholesterol medication, that it changes a lipid-rich plaque into a lipid-poor plaque, and uh, uh, those are less likely to rupture. A, a lipid-rich plaque would be the same as the gum that's out there that has the, the, the juicy center that you bite and the stuff comes out the side. Um, and really, you can equate it simply to a pimple would probably be the same thing. Um, and uh, that, that cholesterol-rich lipid um, gets extruded out the side of the plaque, and because that's the weak spot in, in that particular thing, and then the, these particular substances, the phospholipids, and a lot of that uh, emulsification in, in this uh, plaque uh, is very um, uh, clot. It, it just it forms a lot of uh, clots, and so it basically promotes a clotting cascade, and if the vessel has enough buildup, 
um, and it's close enough, then yes, you will shut the artery off and have a, have a heart attack. So I know I digressed off your, your question with regards to um, whether or not the circadian rhythm or the, the time change will cause that, uh, but certainly uh, for some people who can't deal with stress very well, if they have atherosclerosis or they have something else, then it would probably be a, a one of the many precipitating events. So uh, you wake up an hour late for work, um, it's a very important job, you got a very big business thing, it always happens on a Sunday and a Monday where you got to get up the next day. Uh, they should do it on a Friday night, at least give you the chance to recoup on the weekend uh, from daylight savings times. And I've, I've heard they've been trying to get rid of it completely. Um, and uh, I, I think they, they do. I, I think it was basically uh, for the farming issue based on farming, but, um, and I know that that still happens, but um, to me it just seems like you could just do fine just getting rid of it completely. Uh, the days are going to get shorter in the winter anyway just due to the rotation of the earth. The uh, summertime is, is longer. Um, but yeah, it, it doesn't do people a lot of good. I mean, you lose an hour of sleep, uh, you're, you're, you know, you got a lot of pressure, you got a lot of things to do, and especially in today's society, uh, so much more uh, pressure on people to perform. Um, so I don't think it's out of the realm of possibilities that, that it could cause um, this particular event. Um, but I did know it was 25%, and if that is, and it seems awful high, um, so anyway, I hope that answered your question. And uh, yes, there's probably two components to it. One, the stress, and one, the altered circadian rhythm uh, might have some bearing on that. Uh, so anyway, getting back to this uh, story that I opened up with, uh, so this patient couldn't get their uh, pain medication filled at one of the local pharmacies, so went to Walgreens. And that particular uh, uh, pharmacist um, called me up and basically said, um, did I have any uh, x-rays or other uh, studies on file to document the diagnosis that I put in there? And I, I basically said, uh, well, um, you don't need to know that information. And that's not part of what, uh, I'm not going to release that to you because you couldn't interpret that information even if I did have it on file, well, and then went into a tyrant about how I didn't respect uh, the pharmacist or I didn't respect Walgreens. And the answer is yes, I don't respect Walgreens uh, as a corporate entity uh, because three years ago I never had this problem. Um, and it didn't, and it all started because Walgreens didn't do their due diligence uh, in Florida and they were fined by the Drug Enforcement Agency. So um, I did contact the Drug Enforcement Agency a couple of weeks ago just to see if they could. Uh, uh, substantiate that they're not limiting uh, prescriptions that are being filled uh, and the quantities being uh, uh, ordered by the by the pharmacist but that's one of the uh, I and I and it's a lie I'm sure it's a lie that they're promulgating to the customers in this community is that the DEA is limiting them on what they can order um, and that's not the truth the DEA is not limiting them uh, they're doing their own limits because if they never order over a certain amount meaning the issue of the pill mill seeing in Florida was that they had a 300% increase in the oxycodone that was being prescribed in a small area in Florida. And it was only after they busted this doctor and they went back and looked where the prescriptions and they went back and looked at the ordering cap, uh, numbers for what Walgreens, there was a 300% increase. And then they went into this, they went into Walgreens and said, listen, I mean, 300%, maybe you ought to ask a question here, here or there. So then basically now all these pharmacies have, have learned from this and they basically set this ceiling. We can only order this much. And if we never increase that number, we'll never get a question from the DEA. Then they can never come in and say, we're going to fine you because you should have known that there was a problem because uh, your uh, ordering uh, went up. And they've interpreted that as now they need to uh, uh, go and, and so there's two ways they're combating this. One is this good faith dis dispensing policy and uh, talking about uh, getting information. So we'll continue that after the break. We'll be right back. And again, thank you for tuning in.
Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Reiner, your host of the Independent Doctors of Pahrump, a TV show that airs Monday night on Channel 46. I want to remind you that I am a practicing physician in Pahrump, and I'm an independent practitioner, which means I am not bought by any insurance company or corporate medicine. We provide the highest level of care. We have nurse practitioners. We have other physician specialists who come to our office. Please come visit me. I'm at 1316 East Calvada here in the heart of Pahrump. Thank you.